So today's video is a makeup challenge and it's kind of a forced challenge. Because mm. as you probably saw in yesterday's video, I currently have a palsy. Oh dear, 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 dear. And that leaves my left hand, which let's be honest, is a bit rubbish anyway. So this video is all about how to put your makeup on without using your fingers. And here's how I do it. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. That, that's not what I use Clara for. She's very useful. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, there will be a card up above that also has some other makeup things that I do and beauty stuff. I'm generally using my fingers though, so this one's special. Hello! Oh, hell, so this is what we're working with. <laughs> oh well, let's try and make something pretty. First off, primer. Prime your face, protect your skin. Yeah, okay. uh, that's not, that's not working. All right, I'll just have to use my fingers for this one. Huh. Excuse me, challenge fail already. Well, I still can't actually use them on this hand, so never mind. Huh. And again, this isn't working. How can I not do this even with my fingers? Wait, am I turning it the wrong way? I want to live, Jessica. Skip forwards to foundation. <laughs> Except I can't use my normal style because that would require two hands. So, ta-da! Can we talk about how awesome concealer pans are? Liquid foundation with a tiny spongy top. This is the Mac Factor Master Touch All Day Concealer. Pop off the cap and twist, then paint your face. trick. If you only have one working hand right now, then try rolling your foundation in with your sponge. Add Panda Foundation for a matte vintage look. More Max Factor, this is the Facefinity Compact Foundation in Porcelain. Hey look, you can open it with one hand and your chin. Now, how to hold it? Uh, no? Uh, okay, put it down and smush your sponge into it. And I dropped it. Excellent. Flash of time. Oh yeah, open that like a boss. Flash of spots like a china doll. I know, don't worry, it does get better. Mm, deep breath, it's time to do the eyebrows. Now, normally I would use my lovely eyebrow pencil, but <laughs> Oh no, that's not happening. Thank goodness for this powdered pencil. You can use it with one hand and the powder doesn't get everywhere. Oh, and the chops rolled away. Okay, never mind. I'm sure lots of chops will end up on the floor. Pause for pain. Okay, let's try to fill in these eyebrows. doesn't look too bad. Eyeshadow priming is especially important when you're working with limited dexterity because putting eyeshadow on your lids is hard enough. You don't need it slipping around as well. Any stick or pen type makeup applicators are going to be your friend here. You'll want to limit the number of things you have to handle at any one time, or really the number of things you're using at all. Blend with his beautiful knuckles. Lipstick time! Now, as you know, I love my liquid lipsticks, but I can really only apply them with my more dexterous right hand. Instead, I'm trying something new, a matte lip cream from number seven, so let's see how it goes. What 
do you think? Onto eyeshadow and opening up our eyes. Huge eyeshadow palette and oh my god, that's a lot of brushes. Right, here's something I suggest you never ever do with expensive brushes or really good eyeshadow. Turn that brush upside down and dig into your palette. This is partially why I buy cheap makeup for the days when my hands aren't working. We're laying a lovely pale matte base colour down. Destroy another brush with a cool toned pale brown. Apply just to the outsides of your eyes and then blend like crazy. My monolid eyelids have a tendency to look rather flat, so we're trying to create a little definition here. Add a darker shadow along the crease line, or if, like me, you don't have one, then in line with the top of your eye. There we are, eyeshadow with no fingers. And then we blend. Of course we blend, blending is everything. Nice shot up my nose there. Applying eyeshadow is 25% putting it on your face and 75% blending it off your face. Oh my god, am I done yet? Yes, okay, finally. No wait, not, not actually done. Now adding a little golden shimmer eyeshadow, partially to give my eyes some depth, but mainly just because it's super pretty. And then, oh, drop my brush. <coughs> Hand palsy, <coughs> excuses, excuses. Yay, sparkly. But now we've reached a problem, eyeliner. How am I going to put eyeliner on my left hand? Can't even write recognisable characters. Oh, I've got skills. You'll be amazed. The trick is to pat the eyeliner down rather than put along your eyelid. This is why liquid eyeliner is the best and easiest thing for me to work with. Oh, this side is so much harder. Fake eyelashes are obviously out of the question for me right now, so I'm relying on the world's largest mascara brush, if I can get it anywhere near my face. So there we are, a full face of makeup without using my fingers. I hope you've enjoyed this video, hit that lovely like button if you have, and hopefully you'll subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video!